For months, the demographics of asylum seekers waiting to enter the U.S. and Tijuana has shifted. Caravans of Central Americans has given way to thousands of people from countries like Cameroon and Eritrea who are fleeing political persecution. But for the last few weeks, the amount of people being admitted into the U.S. in coordination with Mexican immigration authorities has slowed to a trickle. For six days straight, no one was called from the unofficial list of migrants waiting to hear from Mexican authorities. The Cameroonians believe it's because the asylum processing slots made available by the U.S. each day are now being filled by people bribing Mexican officials. After a protest last Thursday, the asylum seekers announced that if no one was admitted on Tuesday, they would block the vans that take asylum seekers to be processed in the U.S. Shortly after 8 a.m., they followed through on that promise and blocked the driveway next to the port of entry. The African asylum seekers sat on the ground and refused to move. My money is finished. The immigration, the policy is very bad. Members of the brand new Mexican National Guard were called to the protest, but no arrests were made of protesters. Instead, flustered Mexican immigration officials took eight asylum seekers into the port of entry, where they met for an hour to discuss the protesters' demands. Douglas, who only gave his first name, was one of the negotiators. He said that Mexico promised to allow African asylum seekers to verify that the list was being called in order every day. So we have told them, they say we should we will appoint some few people to work with them to see that all corruption is stamped out. The protesters dispersed a little before 11 a.m. and let the immigration vans proceed but not without a promise by many of the protesters to hold the Mexicans to their word. Max Rivlin-Nadler, KPBS News.